Hey guys, it's Sean Klinger with Vital Max, and I am with Chris Gill of uh, Carson City Motorsports. He's the marketing manager. And as it turns out, sometimes the dealerships gets bikes before us. So you've had, how long have you had this bike? Um, I've had this for basically about two weeks now. So what this is, is a 2021 Gas Gas MC450. So what's pretty cool about this bike is as you can see, there's oil and suspension on there. Um, there's lots of cool stuff. First, I gotta say, it is a looker. It is a great looking bike. Thank you. Um, well done on Appreciate that. It. Yeah, it's and and actually one of my favorite parts is kind of the uh, the nod to the old gas gas with the with the number plates being, you know, the shape they are with the, the graphics, that's really cool. But I'll let you explain. So uh, obviously we're out here, we're gonna ride it. Let's go over the parts and what you swapped out from the stock gas gas to, to what it is now. Yeah, so um, basically I had a 19 uh, FC450 to start with. So I took the triple clamps off that. I got the X-Trig, the mounts on there with the OEI bars. Um, Works Connection, um, they're pretty close to us. So they're, they're always really good to us. Uh, they sent, sent me a little bit of bling on there, uh, the Nihilo Concepts, uh, the carbon fiber yeah, those look guards on there. Factory. Um, Olin's, I've had this for um, a couple bikes now. I'm, I'm a huge fan of them. They handle so well. Um, I, I, just, I just love them. We switched to the Dunlop tires on there with the W wheels, um, sear coated some brake parts, and uh, Galford did the, the uh, lines for us. Guts did the seat for us. Mostly just a lot of sear coating, some powder coating. Did a recluse cover on there. I really like the stock clutches, so I just kept the stock clutch on that. Uh, but you were saying actually the the, the gas gas uh, clutch cover, because it has that kind of design aesthetic, it's actually pretty heavy. Yeah, it was pretty heavy. So we ended up, once I pulled that off, I was like, yeah, I'm just gonna grab a recluse cover and kind of throw it on there. Kind of tied in with the whole look of the bike. Did some sear coating on the motor, um, kind of cleaned it up a little bit. So in, inside the motor, everything's stock. Everything's stock. But you have the uh, the ECU from your Husky that you guys worked on. Yeah, so we did a little mapping from the uh, on my 19 FC 450. Um, it was just a little bit more exciting, I thought. So I wanted to put it in there, just to kind of get a little bit more ground out of it. Um, so far, it turned out pretty good and I like it a lot. The wheels are from W? Yep, mm -hmm. W wheels, um, DDC rear sprocket. Um, they're a local company as well. And then talking about the looks of the bike, uh, what, what graphics company do you got? Um, this is Metal Brand Designs. They're another local company. Um, they came through with this set last minute and threw it together for us, and I think it looks awesome. Yeah, I really like the way uh, it matches kind of that old school gas gas look. So yeah, overall, sweet looking bike. We're gonna go ride it and uh, tell you what we think. Hi everybody, Chris Simonar here with Vital MX. Today we are out at Paris Raceway and I got the opportunity, dare I say privilege, to be the one to ride uh, Chris Gill's CCM Motorsports Gas Gas uh, 450 that he built. As you can see, it's a wildly modified bike, top to bottom, front to back, you know, everything from suspension, brakes, a little bit of stuff into the engine. So, as I said, they, they changed the ECU to uh, 19 Husky ECU. With that, got a bit more snap out of the bike. Stock form, the bike is mellow, kind of, I guess, the way the Huskies were. Uh, a softer hit power delivery off the bottom that did carry into a good mid-range and top end. But the Husky does lack a little bit of the bark. Uh, what Chris did, opening up the airbox, different air filter, putting on the ECU, got a lot of bark out of the, the bottom end of the bike um, and gave a lot of torque right out of the corner. As soon as you crack the throttle, it's not an abrupt or a harsh power delivery. It's just very, very torquey and really pulls beautifully out of uh, any of the tight corners going right into um, you know, some of the jump faces. You know, some of the brakes, the brakes are stock brakes or you know, calipers, the rotors are different. And just like all the KTMs, Huskies, the Brambos have fantastic power out of them. To me, the thing that stood out most on this bike was the suspension. 
Chris put on the Olin's TTX uh, fork and shock, which is phenomenal. I've had the opportunity to ride these a couple of times over the years, and it's actually surprising that more people don't go to this suspension for the reason that it's the range in which it can work, meaning from a faster rider to a slower rider, heavy rider to a lighter rider. Uh, it's so vast that you think it might be stiff, but it's still plush, it still works. Um, Chris, for example, you know, he weighs a little bit more than I do. And when we got on it, I thought it was gonna be really stiff. It was kind of the, the warning that was given to me. We did set the sag and believe it or not, we settled at 84 millimeters of sag in the rear. That's just as much as we can get out of uh, because the spring rate was so stiff. You really couldn't tell except for on a couple of the corner exits. The Olin stuff is just so plush. It's, as I was telling the guys, it's, it's when you land off a jump, it's very similar to if you're in an elevator, you know, and you're dropping all the floors and you get to that last floor and it just slowly settles right into the bottom. That's how the bike settles into the stroke. It, you land it, it settles in and you just move forward. There's no harshness in the stroke. There's no, you know, like you feel like you're hitting a, uh, a stiff point, you know, at the, the later end or mid range. It's just plush until it stops compressing and, and rebounds. Even through a lot of the small chatter, you know, the braking bumps going in, when you're on like the outside of a corner and you get the, the little chatter as you, you know, you're going around the, the berm. A lot of times when you get into a stiff suspension, that's where the front end, everything just starts shaking. And it's really hard to get the bike to settle, but the front end just was beautiful. The entire way through, you get on the brakes, it holds in, it bites, the front never tucked, it never wanted to push wide. So being what the bike was set up for, uh, Chris, who is 224, myself, I'm 175. It's a very big difference. And honestly, if this was my bike and I was setting it up as is, I wouldn't be disappointed with it. Would bring up an interesting point. If you have a gas gas, maybe play with the rear sag. Because at 84, it still handled really, really good. Didn't get head shake, turned in great. Pro circuit pipe, you know, gave it a lot of uh, extra little bark in there. The only thing this bike had as it is set up for elevation in Carson City, which is 6,000 feet. It was a little bit lean on the, the from mid range going into top, but I think that's more just elevation change. A, amazing time riding the bike today. Huge thank you to Chris at Carson City Motorsports uh, for letting me and letting us ride this bike. It's an absolute dream. Uh, for more videos, go to vitalmex.com, go to YouTube, click subscribe, and thank you for watching.